Now, if you think your parents and teachers are the only ones always telling you about the utility of mathematics, our next story might make you rethink. UK's Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has vowed to change the country's anti-math attitude as he unveiled a new plan to tackle numeracy. We make jokes about not being able to do maths. It's socially acceptable. We say things like, oh, maths, I can't do that, it's not for me, and everyone laughs. But we'd never make a joke like that about not being able to read. So we've got to change this anti-maths mindset. Sunak said he wanted to change the country's system by ensuring students study some form of maths up to the age of 18. We're one of the few developed countries where young people don't routinely study some form of maths up to the age of 18. They do it in Australia, Canada, France, Germany, Finland, Japan, Norway and America. Why should we accept any less for our children? At present, students studying in UK schools have the option to drop math at the age of 16. However, the Prime Minister wishes to change that. He talked about utility of maths in day-to-day -day life and economy at large and its importance in different sectors, right from creative to finance. He also said how not considering numeracy as a basic skill is costing UK's economy huge sums of money. Prime Minister has set up an expert group to identify core maths content that 16 to 18 year olds students in the country need to study. Meanwhile, opposition parties have raised concerns about this, saying that Sunak's promise was meaningless without a coherent plan. They also said more money would be needed to recruit and train more maths teachers. 